Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be giving away my SOP for creating a lead gen website in this video. Now, we've already talked about the prompt. There's an entire playlist showing you how to do this. But I just thought it'd be easier for people to see kind of step by step what the logic is for building one of these websites. Step one, understand what you are building and who you are building it for. If you're building for a client, you need to have a list of their services and their service areas. This can only come from the person who owns the business, okay? You cannot be expected to create a website for someone if you don't know where in the country they operate, what they do, you know, prices, et cetera, et cetera. So you need to get a list of at least service areas and services and prices from a client, okay? Collect all of the information about the business you're working on, pricing, any other interesting information you find about their business. So obviously when I did this, what I did was I basically just took some images and some messaging from craftdigitalagency.com. So what you can do is you can use paste to markdown to very, very easily collect um, kind of images or whatever it might be. So what I did there was I highlighted the pictures I wanted and the text that I wanted, right? And then control C and then went to paste to markdown, control V. And then if I go on markdown to HTML, you'll see that these are actual image links that are now in markdown. You can send this now to a prompt or whatever. Like if I just go to ChatGPT, for example, just to show you what I mean. And I can say, make me an HTML um, box with these images of people inside with modern uh, animations and cool features, etc. And let's just give it this. So if you think about it, something like Lovable is gonna be able to do this very, very well, right? So if I go to Lovable and let's go on here, for example, and I just uh, click select and then um, this section and say underneath this section, add a section for the staff who work at the company in a modern, clean, designed box, right? And then we just send that. Um, you can start to see how you can, once you've collected all of this information in, and you've copied and pasted and blah, 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 you can input it piece by piece into the design of whatever you're building, right? So I'll, add, I'll help you add a modern meet the team section to the landing page. Since we don't have access to the actual team photos, so I'm just gonna press stop here and say, you do have access to the photos. They are these image links. So we'll see if that works this time. So we'll copy the code here just from ChatGPT and go to W3Schools, Control A, Control V. There we go. This is exactly what <laughs> this is exactly what I'm telling you that you can build very, very quickly and very, very easily by taking something from you know, your client website and just inputting it here. So Lovable doesn't seem to want to do this. There we go, perfect, look at that. So meet the team, beautiful, look at that. It's even removed the clearly fake image uh, of some that's not a person, whereas ChatGPT didn't do that. But this is so quick and easy, guys. This is kind of what I want to show you, okay? So collect all that information, get your service areas, get your pricing, you know, put it in a spreadsheet, wherever you want to put it, put it in a document, put it in a PDF, explain to your client or just understand for yourselves that this is a secondary website to prop up their business further and is a sister website which should rank on Google more quickly but is very experimental, okay? So you need to make that clear to your clients. What you're saying is, you know, it's a little bit risky, it's experimental, but overall it should rank on Google more quickly, more easily and more smoothly than whatever WordPress website or whatever you made for them. Now I get a lot of hate for talking about, you know, comparing these two things, WordPress and something like an AI generated lovable website. Honestly, you know, I've been working on WordPress for the last one year, two years. This is ranks on Google much, much, much more quickly. So number four is buy a domain. It might be good to have like their service or whatever it is in the name or you can just grab something like craftagencyus.com or for example, craftagency.co.uk, which will probably be the next one that we make. Set them the domain in the prompt. So if you click on the prompt here and then click file, make a copy, make a copy. Um, you do not need editing access of my prompt. You can just make your own copy and then this becomes editable, basically. 
So you want to look for craftagencyus.com, which I'll make bold for people just to make it a bit easier. And then you just want to put your domain here and then change a few other things. So I'm just going to um, bold anything that you might want to change. Okay, this looks good. You probably want to change these as well. And obviously the website context, that that's obviously that you need to change that. So just change those inside this prompt. And then basically you just control A, control C, the entire prompt. You go over to something like Lovable or Bolt or, you know, whatever you want to use. I don't really care what you use. I'm not trying to sell Lovable over Bolt. It's just, I prefer Lovable. You might prefer Bolt. Totally fine. I don't care. Uh, they're not paying me. Someone said that they were paying me 5,000 euros a video. I wish like that would be 150,000 a month. Uh, they, they're not paying me anything. I, I've never been in contact with lovable anything. I wish they were paying me five grand a video, but they're not. Change the prompt to work for your specific website. So change anything in bold. Build the skeleton of everything so you can understand how it works. Get it into a working position. Don't worry about what it looks like for now, okay? So you just want it to operate, okay? Just You want it to work. At this point in time, we do not care about what the website actually looks like, okay? We just want to have the, um, the bare bones of the website, okay? I'm not gonna go through this entire process right here, but I'm just gonna show you that, yeah, you need, you need to do you know, the initial connections, you need to connect it to Superbase, you need to connect it to GitHub if you want, although that's not that important at this moment in time. Then you can start to make it look as you want, okay? So let's just see what it comes up with here. Okay, well that looks way better than I was expecting, fair enough. If your project requires backend functionality, you can use the Superbase menu on the top right corner to connect to your project to Superbase. So that's what I would suggest doing now. Connect it to um, one of these or create a new project, basically. I'm not gonna go through this process right now, but you can see how it's kind of followed the prompt pretty well uh, to start with. And then you just start building from that, okay? And then what you do is once it's working and once you know, you've got everything working, and again, if you go on my YouTube channel, uh, we'll leave a link to this playlist in the description. But this playlist here has the entire building process uh, laid out for you completely for free. Um, you literally just need to watch this in order. Um, this is the wrong order. Okay. So watch one, two, and then three, and then there's also gonna be a fourth one, which is how to edit one of these websites. If you're interested in how to build one of these websites, I am probably gonna do a few more videos on building one of these websites in a bit more detail, because I don't think 32 minutes is quite enough to actually show people. However, once you've got it, you know, so it's working, et cetera, what you can do is you can say, I'm gonna select header, and I'm gonna say, right, um, this is one of our colors, so I'll select this color using a color selector and say change this background color to so you can just make one of these changes one at a time right so another thing we can do here is we can say um oh, so i think i've just changed the header but it doesn't really matter I just, yeah there we go so it's changed it to that it's got a gradient on it but you know it's changed the color you can see the color on the left here and then it's a gradient so you could say change the gradient or whatever um, i'm just going to give you a few quick examples though i'm not planning on going through this entire process. So we can select um, under here, let's say, and say, please uh, add this section underneath, right? So now it's gonna add the section of all of us. And if you think about it, like this is like Elementor or Divi or any of the WordPress editors, but it's so much faster. If you've ever used Elementor, you'll know that you have to add each picture one by one. You have to add the text one by one. You have to make it look good on all of the different devices, blah, blah, blah. This, which took probably like, you know, a minute. Look, it's done already. That, that took less than a minute. It would probably take you half an hour on Elementor. I'm not even kidding. It'll probably take you about half an hour on Elementor. With something like this, it's instant, basically, right? Which is super, super nice and super, super cool. Right, once you've done that, and once you've made it look like you want it to look by using the selector tool, what you can do is you can connect the website to GitHub. So you can press edit code, transfer repository, press your name. What this does is it creates a new GitHub repository. So if I press copy here and then open this, you'll see, you know, add team sections with animations now, all the other edits were four minutes ago. 
You can see what the code is and how it's working, etc. And you could even, if you wanted to now, you could take this into cursor and work on the content generation process or whatever it might be. Um, but now you've actually connected it to GitHub. You can take this, you can go to Vercel, right? Add new project, import project. There it is, import, deploy. And literally in you know, 10, 15 minutes, we've now made something that is publicly accessible on the internet on Vercel. You'd only just have to add a domain after that, which you already have the domain set up, and you're done, right? You have a lead gen website that you've just created in a very, very short period of time. So we'll just let this finish. This should work, it has worked. Now, every single time we make a change on Lovable, it will be automatically changed on Vercel, and then once you add a custom domain, it will automatically be changed on your live website. So if you open this, there we go. Let's just try this. I'm not exactly sure if this will work, but I just want to quickly try something. So I'm just going to say, um, remove the gradient on this header. So I just want a, a solid color, let's say. So this should be removed. There we go. Perfect. That looks better, as you can see. Uh, I, I think gradients look pretty stupid, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah. So now what I want to see is, does this automatically update on Vercel? It should. So I'll press edit code, copy here. If I just go here, actually I can just check the build. Um, so deployments, there should be one that's currently going ready. It's done already. Remove gradient from header. There we go. So now if I go on um, the website, if I just refresh this. So you can see how you can very quickly, very easily make something that actually works and, um, you know, gives um, value to people and, you know, you're, you're trying to rank for location-based pages after all. So I'm just going to add one thing to the SOP here. Um, here is where you add all of the website context, for example, pricing, service, locations, etc. Tell, lovable, bolt, etc. to add um, the location pages programmatically against the services. Okay, so what that means is, for example, um, if we go on Craft Agency US, you need to split what your client does or what you do into a few different categories, okay? And I'm going to use plumbing because I always use plumbing as an example, but plumbing, right? So you've got, you know, plumbing uh, for bathrooms, let's say, Plumbing's, plumbing for showers, emergency plumber, um, and also another thing you might be able to do is Google categories for services. Okay, so you can just use AI for this. There is a way to get all of the tags from Google, but I, I've completely forgotten how to do it. I'll try and remember and make a video about it, but you can just say like, I am making a website to advertise my plumbing services. Uh, can you give me 10 of the most searched for plumbing services that could be used to bring traffic. Uh, an example is 24-7 plumber slash emergency plumber, and then press enter. Yeah, so drain cleaning, water heater and repair, toilet repair, leak detection, pipe repair, faucet fixtures, sewage line inspection, gar garbage disposal, and whatever that is. So you can see, you can very, very quickly and very, very easily just use AI for this. Um, it would obviously be preferable to use Google, but yeah, I've just uh, I've forgotten how to get the tags for for a, a business type. So this this is like a fundamental part of this, right? You need to at some point you need to say to Lovable, right? Um, I am making a website about locations in the U.S. Please add the top 10 cities by population in the US with my five niches as specified in the prompt. So what this should do is it should make a very, very basic version of this where it just stores. I don't see any previous prompt. So this is what I mean by the step-by-step -step prompting that I keep talking about. I think for sure that is a... Um, you know, a, a key part of this. So I'm just going to send this again, and I'm going to say, um, use the top 10 cities in the US with these five niches. 
to produce 50 pages. So at some point you're going to have to have this kind of struggle with Lovable where you get it to, um, yeah, so it quite rightly it says I should point out that we'll need to connect to Superbase. So you should connect to Superbase first, then run through this process, then make it look like you want it to look, add it to GitHub, add it to Vercel, launch the website. That's pretty much the entire process. I'm just going to add a couple more things here. I'm going to say ensure robots.txt and uh, the sitemap are generated. Um, verify search console using .txt record. What does that look like? I'm just going to very quickly show people how to do that. So if I go on search console, add a property, I'm just going to whatever, doesn't matter. There we go. So this is going to give me a, a verification. What you want to do is you want to use the .txt verification method. Press copy here, and then you just go to Vercel, um, and you go to your domains. So just at the top here, domains. Let's say Craft Agency US. You just want to add, like it, uh, like here, a .txt record. So you just put text here, and then put the value that Google gave you here, and then press add. And then instantly, and I, I, it's normally like within the first few seconds, you can press verify, and you've verified your search console, right? So verify search console using .txt record. Submit your site map um, to search console. Um, manually submit your home page plus the five to 10 category pages. So in my case, that's SEO agency, backlink agency, etc. So you want to submit those and then just follow the website on search console and see how many impressions you have in two weeks. That's kind of the entire SOP, guys. This is very, very exciting stuff. I'm really, really enjoying talking about this methodology because instead of advertising other people's businesses on a directory, we're actually advertising our business on a location-based lead gener generation website. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You can find all of the prompts, all of the SOPs, all of that in the description as usual. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want to see me researching some keywords for location-based websites.